Okay. Uh, good afternoon, students. Uh, so today we are going to be seeing the uh, continuation in uh, miniature paintings. So miniature paintings like the Murder and Rajasthani paintings like already two topics path two subschools path 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 Merver, Marver, Abdinder and the subschools path path So almost we have completed the basic feature or basic idea about what is a miniature paintings other uniqueness and we have compared and contrasted it with the mural paintings. So miniature paintings are a small size of the paintings. This is the miniature Abdinder pair of the other size may not be there. Of course size is one other thing to identify it but the red Abdinder color is Latin letter name minimum. So, that is the evolution of the miniature paintings. So, in the overall classification, we can classify Rajasthani and Pagari after Mughals. So, in the timeline, the miniature paintings were timeline almost 1600 years since the ancient times as well as medieval times. But this school, this painting, miniature paintings, the predominance of the medieval times were very strong as well. That is the community of Abhapraja school as well as Pala school. It was the Mughal rulers who highly patronized it, particularly the most important patronization from Akbar to Sajagan. It was heavily patronized and finally during the time of Aurangazir, the dispersal happened. Particularly in Jagangir time, the dispersal started. Jagangir was the correct painters and the correct painters. So because of that, the second great painters were appeared to disperse it. That is why Aurangazir was completely, you know, but he was a staunch Muslim person. He didn't like any kind of, any kind of these paintings or not. So, I don't know, our time was very, very diminished. In fact, one or two paintings were done during this, during this time. But still, mostly the painters disappeared or moved out of the court. So, if you move out of the court, you know, already other community Rajput kings were the control. They were allowed to develop by the courts and they were supported by these Rajput kings, these business persons, etc., etc. So, all these persons, all these painters moved to the Rajput areas and ultimately what ultimately became was called as these Rajput paintings. And the Rajput paintings are in the classic. One of them is Rajasthani paintings, you know, the Pakari paintings. Rajasthani paintings have been done as you know, in the area of Rajasthan and the area of Suthir paintings can be better than Rajasthani paintings. Pakari is one of them. Imacha Pradesh, Punjab, in the foothills of Himalayas, in the Jammu Kashmir area, like in the area of the Pakari paintings, in the Malap Pradesh. So, in this case, Rajasthani paintings are a basic feature. But what is the difference between the Mughal and the Rajasthani? Rajasthani observed the idea of Mughal paintings, the painting but the mechanism. In addition to it, the painters added the flavor of the local kings. I mean, what is the flavor of the local kings? Local geography, local dress, influence of Mughal courts, everything was added in addition to what was already prevalent in Mughal schools. So, this is a good confluence. That's why we have two schools in the Rajasthani paintings. We have two schools. Merwar, Marwar, and features of paintings. For those of the students who have not seen it, go have a look at prayer classes. Only then you will be able to get an idea about what we are speaking right now. So, this is already in the class. So, this is a standalone class. So, if you want to fully understand the features and ideas and everything about this class, please go and have a look at the previous class, previous my class about Indian paintings, particular miniature paintings topic starting on the bar. So, this is the Mayavar Mahavar School Park. Now, we are going to talk about the Hadouti School of Rajasthani. So, Hadouti or Hadavati, that means long in the end of the day. In the schools, that means the end of the day. So, Mayavar, that means the end of the day. Rajasthan, that means the end of the day. Marvar, that means the Rajasthan, that means the end of the day. Adavati or Adavati of the Southeastern Rajasthan. In the map, you can dictate a clear mark. That is the, once again, guys. So, this area, what you see in the color, pink color is the Adavati or Adavati region. It contains the sub-schools. These people are the sub-schools. Miniature paintings. Mughal, Rajputs, Rajputs in Rajasthani and then Pakari. Rajasthani in the four main schools, Merwar, Marwar, Hadoti, Dundar. And the Merwar in the four sub-areas, likewise Marwar in the sub-areas. These things we have seen in the earlier class. And inside Hadoti there are Kota, Bundi and Jalwar. So in the areas which comprises the Hadoti school. So all these things, of course, 
இதுல என்ன டிஃபரன்ஸ் சார் இந்த ஒரு ஒரு ஏரியாவுக்கு முடிஞ்சா இந்த ஏரியா மொத்தமா தெரி பி சம்திங் கனெக்டிங் தீஸ் ஏரியாஸ் அண்ட் இன் பர்டிகுலர்லி தட் ரீஜன் லைக் கோட்டா அப்படின்னா அங்கிருந்து அந்த சப் ஸ்கூல்ல அந்த சப் சப் ஸ்கூல் இட் இஸ் ஆக்சுவலி அதுல வந்து அந்த கிங்குக்கு பிடிச்ச ஒரு விஷயங்கள் அந்த அந்த ஜியாகிரபி ஏதாச்சும் ஒன்று ரிஃப்ளெக்ட் ஆகும் ஸோ தட் வே தெர் இஸ் அ டிஸ்டிங்க் பார்டர் கிரியேட்டட் பிட்வீன் தீஸ் டூ பெயிண்டிங்ஸ் ஸோ தட் இஸ் ஹவ் இட் இஸ் டன் ஸோ Adavati School of Rajasthan in Nietzsche's, Adavati or Adavati, South Eastern Rajasthan School contains the Kota, Bundi and Jalwa studies. So, Adavati School of Rajasthan in Nietzsche's. Adavati Schools, so in the question, you can confuse them, you can generalize Adavati, you can spell them. What is the name of the English pronunciation? In the exam, what is the name of the Adavati School? Suddenly, you will be somewhat taken aback. Adavati, you will be 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 taken aback. that is for that reason only we give the other name also so in the area of question possibility na indha maari da irukum idu already na ungalku explain paniruken so adavathi school itself is defined by the character of its style the oldest specimen of prehistoric paintings in rajasthan and the caves of this region on the banks of river chambal near kota different facets of lord krishna's life have been depicted in the art and cultural heritage of the entire adavathi region Rajasthan. The Hadavati paintings are often regarded as one of the highest quality of paintings in the Rajput side. Hadavati paintings are remarkable for its vivid portrayal of movement, strength and vitality, best seen in depiction of hunting and sports scenes. So in all, this area is, this area has a very, very deep history in terms of painting knowledge. In the pre-historic nasal, in Rajasthan, the painting would have ideas in it. So there is a specimen. So when it is a specimen, what happens is the later painters have a look at it. So I don't know, if you want to practice it, you can get a note. The practice of paintings was not happening continuously for ages in this region. But still, the specimen is very open. The specimen is very, you know, easily found. So I don't know, you can see the path. So you can see the path of the painters, that's why there is an influence. So in addition to the already existing influence that we discussed in the last class, this also added an influence to the paintings over here. And as it is, as like we always say, the Rajasthani paintings or the Pachput paintings have the life of Krishna elaborated in different multiple aspects. So, this is one text that we have written. What is the text? Rasika Priya is one text that Krishna is one of the life that we have depicted. So, it is more like Radha Krishna is one of the things that we have arguments, love, etc. And that text is nothing but Rasika Priya. That is one painting depiction of the painting. Almost we have discussed what this, what those things are, illustrated paintings and what they are illustrated in the last class. So today's class, we will just take it from where we left in the last class. So if you want to have the definitions of these things, Rasika Priya or illustration or what kind of these paintings, what is the idea behind these paintings, what kind of paintings, what kind of paintings, what kind of paintings, please go over, go and have a look at the earlier Indian art and culture class of mine. Okay? So, these paintings, Anavati school of paintings, are regarded as one of the highest quality of paintings because of their refinement over the time. So, vivid movement and portrayal, strength and vitality, everything has been clarity depicted. So, Anavati school is sub-schools of Bundi style of Anavati. So, Bundi started as early as about 1625 AD. Bundi is the famous style of Anavati and sometimes the term Anavati is interchangeably used in the, to refer to this style of style of painting. What do you mean by this? Adavati is not a sub-school. Bundi, Kota, etc. So, mostly in the Bundi, it's very famous in the sub-school. It's very famous in the sub-school, it's very famous in the sub-school. And because of the greatness of this painting and in a wide range of this painting, so mostly in the Meethi, the sub-school is talking about the same thing. Bundi is Adavati, Adavati is Bundi. I'm sorry guys, it is raining here. So, there is any disturbance in the disturbance in the network. Don't worry about it. So, peculiar characteristic of this style is the use of rich and glowing colors. So, as to say, in the Dekani paintings, I mean, Rajasthani paintings, you can see the surface, the geography is more yellowish. So, that gives a rich text, actually. So, that is a kind of golden turn on the color. In addition to that, these paintings have been furthermore using the glowing nature. You can compare this with the Mughal paintings in miniature paintings. Mughal is a muted color. In fact, in the initial color, the colors are somewhat muted. In this case, the colors are glowing. Human figures are tall, slim faces are round with pointed nose, thick, shabby cheeks, small stature. Women are portrayed with small, round faces, receding foreheads, prominent noses, deep red lips, small chins, full cheeks, 
when the female dress usually consists of a pyjama over which a transparent jama is worn so in the normal i mean in the paintings rajasthan paints in the patamala in the portrait of humans are portrayed with a sharp nose receding hair idu vand last nam bani thani appadi or painting nam last paathu adha kuda paathina evlo receding hair irukum appadi but of course bani thani paakkala innor trait onnu paatha and the painting la very very important trait can you remember it so bani thani painting one of the important locket of hair kaadhu pakkathu or mudi sutra maar kaadha sub school la so in the case la mostly most have been repeated but the stature of women kuncha so that I mean structure the size of the woman konja chinna da receive panni vechirukka konja edho vandu or miniaturized bomba maaru and the length kadaikala ullu idella pictures la so if you can have a look at it so if you look closely over here the overall size is somewhat smaller indha edathla paarenga or matured woman irukanga avangala head ku avangala body proportion ku over here guys once again so in the in the structure paarenga it is like somewhat out of the picture avangala head ku body structure ku paarenga the stride the stature is somewhat reduced okay so hunting scenes it is a very common so that is what it is we can see over here and the chin and cheeks complete cheeks are okay and uh, there is a huge complete or or kanna full of patina evlo pressa elaborate a portray pannirukanga okay, theriyudhungala inga so can you see it over here over here everything all and the eyes are well pronounced receding hair inga kuda paarenga woman ku okay so that is about this school mostly hunting sport scenes all thing போட்டுக்கும்ப்ளாஸ்லாம் sometimes a yellow band appears on the top of the painting with a text in the black so in all already as i said mughal paintings ku in the paintings ku the difference and the geography would impact on the paintings nalla theriyum rajasthan geography would impact nalla theriyum reddish sun and the sunset la pathina the desert landscape la sun will be some more reddish crimson reddish or pallichin konju yosichu paarenga cut panni panni paarenga andha idha texture ivanga eduthukuraanga adu ulle eduthukuraanga in addition to that the landscapes three additions naturalistic three additions are semi naturalistic சில ட்ரீஸ் ரொம்ப நேச்சுரலா போட்ரே பண்ணிருப்பாங்க சில ட்ரீஸ் வந்து ஏதோ ஒரு ஒரு கார்ட்டூஷன் கார்ட்டூனிஷா வரைஞ்சிருப்போம் ஆல் தீஸ் திங்ஸ் ஹேப்பன் ஓகே சோ திஸ் இஸ் இட் இஃப் யூ லுக் க்ளோஸ்லி வாழை மரத்து கொஞ்சம் நேச்சுரலா போட்ரே பண்ணிருந்தாங்க பட் ஆனா இந்த இடத்துல பாருங்க தீஸ் ட்ரீஸ் சம்வாட் அன்ரிகுலர்ஸ்டிக் அண்ட் லைக் வைஸ் அந்த ரெட் பேண்ட் ஆஃப் ஸ்கை ஒரு மாதிரி ரெட் ஸ்டோன் அந்த ஸ்கைக்கு அந்த பேசிக் அந்த செட்டிங் சன் அதுக்கு உண்டான ஸ்கை அண்ட் அட் தி சேம் டைம் இஃப் யூ லுக் க்ளோஸ்லி ரிசீடிங் ஹேர் யூ கேன் சி இந்த ஹேர் வந்து ஒரு மாதிரி they didn't make it clearly into the stick but to my shading at the moment right it appears as if like this somewhat faded hair abdin number right like this man at top plus sila images la in mari yellow band pot calligraphy la wordings have been written in devanagari script so that is what is and multiple uh, pictures as to as to say most of the miniature paintings will have a story being said in compartmental view that is also done here so these are other pictures you look closely so inga paanga the it is raining it's a rainy season and the water is being somewhat on the terrace la but water on the scattering and uh, the the princess is having a what hand on that water adha la vandu play pandranga how beautifully this uh, this season is being characterized already ungala kitta solirukken the ragamala abindra or painting or mood create pannuvanga or time or season adha vandu indha mari varaivanga abindra so this is one kind of painting and if you look closely there is a tree that is being drawn but it is kind of childish drawing so back lower foreground color or background color put foreground la sketching mari pannirukanga okay so these are other paintings okay and this is one of the rasika priya paintings say nayaga nayagi paintings this is where in which uh, an embrace between a couple is being viewed upon by somebody and or entry or mari adha okay right so next is kota style of hadavati so kota style of hadavati this is one other sub school in city hadavati itself once again guys so kota style of hadavati um, the mughal influence is visible with the uh, refined drawing of the faces and an element of naturalism in the treatment of trees so idhuk munadi nam paatha paintings la naturalism of trees was somewhat lesser but in this case the naturalism with regard to the tree is very much higher in the naturalism with regard to the nature was highly you know evolved are mastered during the time of jagangir so adukapra in the influence of other the main subject of these paintings are krishna leela rama leela baramasa ragamala rasika priya hunting scenes scenes of court festivals elephants horses battles scenes 
horse race, flower trees, etc., etc. So in all, their royal life has been depicted, not the common life. Okay, royal life has been depicted, and it's a kind of mythology. It's already the Mapadru, Mughal paintings and the Rajasthani or Rajput paintings. There's a very difference. Mughals, even though they did uh, the Mahabharata or Ramayana, these kinds of books and all, they never termed it as a religious pictures whereas in this case they openly drew religious drawings so and the vagal ram leela krishna leela are such kind of examples the best example of bundi painting is the chitra shala bhairava ragini in the alagavad museum is one of the earliest example of bundi paintings so bundi is a sub school of I mean uh, uh, i mean a sub school of adavati okay kota style of uh, adavati kota is located for few miles away from the bundi yet it has developed a different tradition of painting its closeness to bundi at times makes it difficult to assert whether a painting is of bundi or kota style subject matter same as bundi human figures portrayed with a stout body shining face bulging eyes male figures depicted with long hooked nose it's another one or seven invert panna irukku and the mari or nose pannirukku nose with uh, vivacious colors and bold lines in portrait most of the spaces occupied by the highly hilly jungles so as this confluences with the areas of the uh, chatishgarh and the mari i mean middle uh, middle india would and the forest area would light out touch over there there is a hilly jungle that is being portrayed over here okay in geography so application of green red and golden colors in this style is very unique animals painted in this style includes deer tiger lion and pig so that is one new thing so idvarla ninga vandha naturalistic ah panna endha school indriyan so this is one very very unique idea so artistic would be done அவங்களுடைய பெயிண்டிங் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் மோர் லைக் டேக்கிங் போட்டோகிராஃப்ஸ் இப்போ நம்ம ஊரில் இப்போ நீங்கள் பார்க்குற அந்த ஹிஸ்டாரியன்ஸ் விஷயத்தில் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா இந்த ராஜா வந்து வேட்டை போவார் வேட்டை போக்குள்ள ஒரு ஃபோட்டோகிராஃபர் கூட எடுத்துகிட்டு போயிடுவார் அந்த ஃபோட்டோகிராஃபர் வந்து அந்த வேட்டை முடிஞ்சதே ஃபோட்டோ எடுப்பார்ல அதே மாதிரி இவங்க வந்து இவங்க பண்ண கிரேட் அக்காம்பிளிஷ்மெண்ட்ஸ் வாட் இஸ் தட் ஹண்ட் அதை வந்து பெயிண்ட் பண்ணிடுவாங்க அண்ட் ஃபார் தேட் யூ ஹாவ் அ நேச்சுரலிஸ்டிக் டெபிக்ஷன் தே டுக் த பெயிண்டர்ஸ் டு த ஃபாரஸ்ட் இட்ஸ் ஸோ விஷ் மீன்ஸ் டு சே ஆஃப் ஆல் த பெயிண்டிங்ஸ் when the painter is being taken to the real world itself he has a closer look of the nature so ultimately what will happen that will basically reflect in the quality of painting be more naturalistic right so kota is also known for execution of wall paintings in the same style that can be found in royal palace of kota which has scenes from the legend of lord krishna themes of animals and natural glory are also drawn in the walls of palace okay so these are some of the paintings of kota so idella paathinga avanga vandha vetai ku poradha and this is actually they are going for hunting So in this picture, that is actually completely portrayed in a form of action. Okay, right? Can you see? So horse, sorry, I mean deer, I mean animals. Apart from that, is more closely related to nature. You know, beautiful love. How you know minutely every aspect is being portrayed of that animal. Right. So these are other images of Kota. I like to say the dress is somewhat transparent with the uh, Sherwani type of dress being portrayed. So, this is one other depiction, one of the important paintings of the Kota. They are doing exercises. So, these kind of lines are actually portrayed in the Kota style. Okay. So, this is one of the important paintings of the Kota. They are doing exercises. So, these kind of live actions, mostly hunting, gilla, um, kind of war scenes, are clear. but this is like, they are doing some kind of exercises. The Karla Arla, Sumo, Kota, Tingla, Adala, Yeru, Kota. So, how they do it, all these things have been depicted. So, these kinds of paintings are very rare. Okay. So, next is Jalwa style of Padavati. This style is actually, actually the assimilated style of bundi and kota bearing elements of both states so what happens is when two styles bundi and kota pagadha pagadha la kuda adu vandhi pora indha rendu mix a edu nodu create aichu rendu elements ay eduth mix aichu that is what is jalwar style okay next so uh, there is nothing much to say about the jalwar we will directly go to the next important school of rajasthani miniatures so next important school of the four schools merwar marwar adavati dundar so adala ipa adavati paathu now we are going to see dundar school So Dundar, I've been told, the East Rajasthan also called as Jaipur region. School contains Hamber, Jaipur, Shakavati, and Mudaiyai. Okay. So in the school, a very old name will come. Now, sometimes they ask you to write about Jaipur, Jaipur school of painting. So I've been told. Okay. So that is different. But in any sense, if something is asked about in the sub schools, about the questions, you get a key tag. Okay. Now, you get major schools. Okay. Now, sub sub schools about the key tag. If they ask you to write about Hamber school. If they ask you to write about Jay, uh, Jaipur school, if they ask you to write about Shakavati school, then don't worry, you can write about Dundar school itself. So there is much, nothing much different, so minute difference, huh? but basic characteristic feature, first one, the Rajasthani paintings, then you go for the basic sub-schools, 
uh, features na okay fine uh, so as it is we'll go for it this is the map of that dundar region you can have a look at it so dundar school of rajasthani paintings the school is very much uh, popular for its again guys for its exclusive four card paintings that is one other addition so idhu munadi nam mudhal hadavathi la paathom appadina nammalku and the cave paintings or elements like that is in this case it is four cards that is being having an influence it is characterized by formal but rich portraits very large paintings of the deeds of krishna and a typical western influence in the 19th century that is one other thing so 19th century influence of delhi mostly it is a western kind of influence so on the influence of it is being put and as it is always to say krishna's life will be the one subject material that is always repeated in the rajasthani paintings as like hadauti dundar is characterized by this style of its schools so more than the overall to call as a school dundar uh, as like hadauti sub schools nalla da adu be variety based so hadauti la namm vandu what did we uh, talk about the sub school we talk about we talked more about the bundi sub school so in the case la dundar la adhe mari sub schools irukku and the sub schools are the major name kodukku this once again so these are some of the paintings of rajasthan dundar style so you can have a look at the how women paintings are done and how uh, the krishna leela is being portrayed in a side profile okay so now amber style of dundar while other rajput just uh, had mughal influence amber had direct kinship relations with mughal so in the region e parangla amber the romba closeness towards the central india i mean uh, delhi irukku so all mostly there is a direct kinship kinship relation with the mughal emperor the raja of amber gave his daughter jodha to akbar in 1562 ad and this association led to the cultural exchange and left its impact on the artistic activities at amber so you can see how great the influence of mughal uh, paintings would have been on this kind of this area of paintings just not the, the already the modern paakla architecture la paakla because of that matrimonial alliance because of that matrimonial alliance eppadi vandu rendu kingdoms ku nadula nariya bishum exchange aachu chatri sendra or idea in architecture uh, went from rajasthan to the mughal emperor everything so in same sense as this was a matrimonial alliance things were exchanged mostly and mostly a very important souvenir avanga paathadha andha kaalathula avanga paatha oru vishayam enna na paintings souvenir enna enna ipo neenga oru edathukku poringa andha edathukku poittu irukla neenga andha edathoda nyabaga artham oru porula neenga vandu vaangalamo illa kudukkuramo appadi endra maari nanachirukke andha maari oru porul vandu உங்களுக்கு நீங்க வந்து எக்ஸ்சேஞ்ச் பண்ணிக்கிற பொருளா சொவினியர்ஸ் இந்த பெயிண்டிங்ஸ் பார்த்தாங்க அந்த மாதிரி ஒரு ஃபேக்ட் தான் ஆம்பர் கோவில் பண்ணுச்சு ஆம்பர் இஸ் சப் ஸ்கூல் ஆஃப் துங்கர் சோ அதுக்கும் ஹெல்ப் பண்ணுச்சுலி பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் மேட்ரிமோனியல்ஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் ஏரியா ஸ்ட்ரக்சர்ஸ் ஆஃப் பாடிஸ் ஆஃப் போத் மேல் அண்ட் ஃபீமேல்ஸ் இன்ஃபுளன்ஸ் பை தி ராஜஸ்தானி ஃபோக் ஆர்ட் shape of the animals birds trees are like in folk arts <coughs> this addresses depicts uh, depicted uh, ornamental belongings to the period of akbar and jahangir as it is marumaga oor lende vanda the idea apde in oor time dresses everything is being ref- ref- reflected okay during the time of akbar and akbar son everything is having a direct impact so on that on the oor enna nancho that is because of two reasons one the painters traveled from akbar's court to here that is one other reason in other reason na as to say as like i said earlier souvenir is a sala presence group likewise akbar was present at certain souvenirs from here because he is actually married to that area so matrimonial alliances were for certain exchange of gift happened so because of that also that areas dress akbar put the dressing varega okay la jammu with four uh, sorry jammu with four pointed edges and later circular jamma and tight uh, pyjama jagangiri turban style dresses like that worn by chatai women so all these things pyjama ji bada maximum dresses are used panranga and that too four pointed corners is already nama mughals la paathu dress vandu sharp corners irukra mari so the same thing is repeated black ulith line of hand hagra godli me or closely linked with the rajasthani style poor quality of line is seen in abaprasma style colors are dull and pale themes like raga ra, raja ragini krishna leela nayaga nayagi laila majnu restless elephant riding horse riding camel riding etc are painted so these are some of the paintings you can see the colors they have used is dark red na reduce panirukanga blue na blue use panirukanga green na green use panirukanga but if you look closely the colors are somewhat subtle 
the more dull are the color not the bright green what you expect or not the bright blue what you expect somewhat a faded or um, you know burnt colors burnt colors are in a slow one நீங்க ஒரு நல்ல ஒரு பிரைட் ப்ளூ கலரோ பிரைட் ரெட் கலரோ இல்ல ஒரு பிரைட் கிரீன் கலரோ எடுத்து அடிச்சுட்டு அந்த அடிச்ச பெயிண்டிங்கை லைட்டா ஒரு ஹீட் பண்ணிட்டீங்க வெயில காய வைக்கிறீங்க பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் த இம்பாக்ட் ஆஃப் சன் தி கலர் வில் சம்வாட் ஃபேட் பட் இட் வில் ஸ்டில் ரிமைண்ட் தட் டார்க் கலர் டார்க் ப்ளூ அண்ட் டார்க் ரெட் பட் சம்வாட் வில் கெட் பேர்ன்ட் அண்ட் பிகம் டல் திஸ் இஸ் மோர் லைக் அ பேர்ன்ட் கலர் அண்ட் இஃப் யூ லுக் தி பெயிண்டிங்ஸ் க்ளோஸ்லி கிருஷ்ணா ப்ளூ பாடிஸ் எப்பயுமே கிருஷ்ணா இருந்துட்டு கிருஷ்ணா இஸ் டெபிக் டு த மோஸ்டாஷ் தட் இஸ் வெரி வெரி யூனிக் கிருஷ்ணாவுக்கு <laughs> Next is Jaipur School of Style of Dundar. It was at Amber that the former capital city of Rajasthan that the Jaipur School of Painting originated. So it originated in the Amber but moved to Jaipur because earlier city, earlier important city or capital of Rajasthan was Amber and Amber made, was a contact place. But ultimately people moved out of Amber. So Jaipur was something that evolved out of Amber. So in a sense, it will be far more good in quality than the Jaipur because already here is the other stage. Okay. The capital was shifted to newly planned city of Jaipur in 1728. Jaipur style had inherited the Amber style's cultural legacy. So, that's why all the ideas are going to be depicted. That's why they are going to be added. Initial period had Rajput Mughal influence like Mughal face, but after Pratap Singh, Mughal influence was eliminated and Jaipur school took a new shape. So, ultimately Pratap Singh, that's why they were going to be added. And earlier, I heard the Mughal influence completely there. That's why that is because Akbar time was a great relationship, but Akbar came from the uh, there was a lot of misunderstandings particularly in the time of aurangzeb and all there were lots and lots of misunderstandings between the rajput kings and the mughal emperors so because of this because of this uh, thing the people felt we they need to get rid of that uh, influence already prevailing influence okay so it still painting clearly showed inheritance from mughal sources but the bold composition and the use of abstraction was distinctly regional artists in the jaipur style applied deep reds in drawing margins of the paintings white red yellow are extensively utilized male figures of clean face wealthy men are depicted wearing turban kurta pajama belt and shoes in such paintings female figure figures large eyes bunch of long hair pleasant mood with women various ornaments of rajasthani styles the jaipur style generally uses the large size canvas ornate background and bright georgius borders Jaipur style of paintings are greatly famous for their life style portraits other themes of this uh, style includes krishna and radha rajput princes camel fights pomp and ceremony of mughal courts bhagavad purana ramayana mahabharata depiction of mitra ragas astrological principles and erotic themes so already i said to look the paintings closely evlo bold arga paru idu kumarad in the end paintings la ungalku vandu human figure ode portrait vandu evlo bold a or portrait vandu evlo appealing a illa so now you can have a look at how you know greatly and how boldly the portrait has been depicted la diary ma study i have this is my portrait and a more nice or close depiction of the picture put there so you can have a look from that itself and the colors used are nice bright colors are bold lines used put there that you can see and they have tried to use more abstractness in the paintings so abstractness are nice designs put there and the designs are morely in terms of hindu ideas okay so these are such things but still you can find the earlier mughal influence so from but and the mughal influence the dresses are lighter twin more twin more like so the here you can see how bold the colors have been how dark how bright how catchy the color and the size of the portraits have been okay fine so next is shakavati school of dundar this region is popularly described as the open air art gallery of rajasthan shakavati is still known for their wall painting in this region every nooks and corners of each three a town street and home has painted frescoes so idu varla nam miniature painting nu paathom la inda miniature painting la shakavati school miniature nu classify pannala it is really a mural illa yenna and the miniature ude technique idea ellathi eduthe marubadi adha seithula paint pandranga but in a small scale small scale na painting ude fresco size la mari perusa irukku mural mari perusa perusa irukku but oru chinna area la inda painting pannadhu pol so you cannot because of already have said mural and miniature there is a big difference in the size of the painting that is subject matter size and the size of the portrait 
major difference and the color used to red layer minimum abdinder color in this case though it is done on the wall they don't classify this as mural because the size of the painting size of the objects in the painting everything confines to that of the idea of miniature so in the miniature idea of the seventhal painting and this region shakavati region is well known for it because every street every thiru every bead ellathrume the paint mundu they use that as this as a kind of decorative idea okay in the interior and the exteriors of the paintings are found decorating the walls doors etc shakavati only place in india where wall used as canvas so as said it is one of the only place for many ages in india where the wall is itself acting as a canvas instead of paper wall a canvas is used for drawings of elephants horses and gods were made in bold reliefs Dra- um, drawings of gods and goddesses were painted in sharp outlines a remarkable feature is that of the picture showing the impact of company styles like railways trains motor bikes cycles sewing machines aeroplanes belong to the victorian age are found on the exteriors and interiors of the wall many havelis mansions okay so this is one striking feature so already nam the best of the school are made from the western influence are there in the school abdin paathu so western influence enna alla irukku nu sonna trains motor bikes bicycles cars idellame vande in fact the sewing machine style machines idella in the painting la irukku so that way the impact was very high okay it is more in a sense more related to modern era of paintings impact of british age and its change of change in the manner of eating dressing livings are also depicted so dress dressing eating dressing enna pannanga idulla vandu open shawl mari potta the dresses more like became tighter and tucked in and likewise eating food eating habits enna pandranga these things got reflected in the paintings chakavati is mainly famous for its decorated painting mansions families are built by the rich and prosperous merchants of the past so enna pandranga or mansion mari adu thangara vidudhi mari kattranga of course mansion is just not hotel matta kada family thanga enna joint family or room room ah thanga now if you just imagine the rajasthani houses chennai la neenga paathirukinga neyam irukku ungalku or just an open pavilion mark ulle poninga room room ah room room ah or mari mansion mari irukku that is a typical rajasthani house in the mari ana rajasthani houses in the merchants kattranga in the merchants kattra ella buildings most of the buildings in the paintings or decorative item i used so how did they do it they made the paintings in the walls of the paint walls of the building itself themes depicted are of gods kings flowers and scenes from daily life chetram sanganari haveli is a treasure house of paintings like while rathi family haveli is a reflection of european impact with krakarian column effects okay so these are some of things if you have, have a look idu vandu or normal painting inga paranga window theriyudhu ungalku right and there is a pillar and the pillar ku mele or painting and mostly it is miniature typical or minute ah varandirukranga but still it is on the wall okay so this is one other thing like this this is another thing shakavan painting how and the canvas a wall able to canvas use panni or movement depict panirukanga because if it is being done in the wall so there is no preservatives so it is in the, in the open in the paintings lo open irukadala the climatic action on this paintings have made it better to very easy in <laughs> yeah, these are the, these are some of the paintings and uh, one other thing about this painting beauty about this paintings as this is done on the, the walls the canvas available for them was very huge so enna da painting chinna chinna parirundalum or full scene or periya scenery mari depict panidan idhu veninga mural la poninga and the miniature painting la pandra adhe subject la perusa kodirupanga but inga enna pandranga or periya wall eduthu miniature mari painting panni but and the full story or traveling occasion mari padirukanga okay so these are the sub schools or naga once again or photo paathukonga marwar merwar hadoti dundar and chakavati do it belong to dundar we, see, we can mark it separately also so these are sub schools of rajasthani painting so with this in the miniature paintings rajasthani schools in rajput school is over so now we will be moving to the next important school okay mind me one second so pagari pagar abindra word ku vandu hindi meaning enna na mountains so ipo ungalku purinjadhu indha indha painting endha region undu so pagari paintings belong to a category of rajput rajput na yaar இந்த குட்டி குட்டி அரசர்கள் இப்ப நம்ம ஊர்ல பாளையக்காரர்கள் அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு இருந்தாங்க தமிழ்நாட்டில் அக்பர்லாம் 
So ultimately, these Rajputs, these smaller kings, survive. So even in that little spread, that from the Rajasthan to the area of Uttarakhand, you can see the area of Uttarakhand. No, one more, one more cross line. Look at that. And the area of Lalit Nagar. This little one, the Trenda class of people, the Rajput kings, overall Rajput kings. One of the Rajasthan, the desert area of India. And that little complete area, that one, Rajasthani kings, that one, Rajasthani Rajputs, that one. In order to that, they spread on the hilly areas, terrains of hills, that. हिमाचल प्रदेश प्रदेश And the few areas in Astral Pakistan. So in the built, you will get that. You will get that. The Himachal Pradesh completely. Some areas of Punjab, some areas of Jam, Jammu area, Jammu and Kashmir, Garhwal area, Uttar Pradesh, and some areas of Pakistan. So these are all comprised of the Pakhari paintings or the region. Okay. These paintings were developed and flourished for the same reason as like that of the Rajasthani paintings during the period of 17th to 19th century under the pattern of Rajput kings. So what was the uh, Um, reason that the uh, Rajasthani paintings flourished, the Aurangzeb court let the painters know out of them because Aurangzeb was not a proper pattern for the painting. So ultimately, Jagangir Temple more paintings were being sent. In the Rajput kings, they patronized them. They wanted their picture, their legacy to be had, and because of that thing, the paintings depicted. The paintings flourished over this time, so that is the same reason. This is the same reason why Rajasthani paintings also flourished. So in all, Rajput paintings, paintings flourished because of that reason. So this is a typical Pakhari painting. If you have a closer look at this painting, you can you can find one thing. All the bright colors used in the background, area parallel, all the greenish area. This is the only thing you find in paintings. Rajasthani paintings, all the only desert is being used. But in this painting, you can see one thing clearly: the background. Forget about the front row, foreground. The subject matter more than that. पिना डर का बैकग्राउंड बाग में बहुत ग्रीनी आ रखे, हिली आ रखे, that is because the outside view is of that kind, और हिली किंगडम ले अन्नर को मेरी लाऊंगे तो अंदर हिली नेचर, माउंटेन्स, ट्रीज, हाईली पाक बाय दिस पेंटिंग्स, that is one unique feature of पगारी पेंटिंग्स, okay, so while various schools of राजस्थानी पेंटिंग्स developed almost at same time, the schools of पगारी developed in phases. Evolving in stages from Basoli school to Kangra school. So, what is the difference? Rajasthani paintings, la, the Rajput, Rajasthani, Pakhari. So, Rajput, the most famous, the two set of Pakhari, the Rajast, Rajput paintings are there. The Rajasthani paintings, the Merwar, Marwar, Dundar, Hadavati, all these. All these four schools developed at the same time. Of the Pakhari paintings, la, they evolved in phases. One area was developed, one area was developed, next area was flourished, and another one developed. So, it started from Basoli. And it ends in Kangra school. So in the line of flourish of them, then the Pagari painting schools can be broadly classified into two kinds in terms of their dynamism and geographical range: Basauli style and Gullar Kangra range. So overall, this Pagari school itself can be classified into two styles. One is Basauli style, which is influenced by Charu Panchika style, and next is Gullar Kangra style based on the cooler colors and refinements. So ultimately, yeah, the purchase of Abdul Badir and the Gullar Kangra style. The reason is. गुलर कंगारा स्टाइल अपने तो पति ना ना माना प्रदेश के लिए उनको कुछ और तुम्हारे ईरुट ना रखो उनपे आप आते हैं लाइक परगर क्लाइमेट मारे हुए तो मारे इट विल बी ब्राउ और मारे यूर ब्लैकेस काइ रखो रेनी टोन रखो मारे काइंड ऑफ और ग्लूमी आर नेचर को बट इट विल बी ब्रीजी एंड इट विल बी लाइक सम But outward sky in that at the level of the room, the beautiful portrait of the park. Okay, so find next slide. Uh, some notable features of Pagari. Pagari paintings are ext extensively influenced by Mughals and Rajasthani paintings. As it is, themes, portrait of sentiments, artistic expressions were influenced by influenced by Rajasthani paintings. Both male and female costumes in Pagari were influenced by the fashion adopted at the Mughal court from time to time as Pagari rulers. Often visited the court of Mughal rulers, but still there was an also distinctive Pakhari costumes, particularly those worn by the females that can be seen distinctively. So in the case, like, what are the problems? These rulers, these Pakhari rulers, visited the court of Mughal emperor. 
so because of that they came they had an idea about that there was a foreign group there about that சரிங்களா இன்னைக்கு வந்து உங்களுக்கு ஃபாரின் ரொம்ப தூரம் இருக்கிற மாதிரி இருந்துச்சுன்னா இது ஒரு நாடு அது ஒரு நாடு ஸோ இந்த ரூலர்ஸ் அந்த ரூலர்ஸ் இருக்கிற அந்த அந்த பியூரோக்ராட்ஸ் எல்லாருமே அந்த ஆஃபீஸ்க்கு அந்த முகல் கோர்ட்டுக்கு போயிட்டு இருக்கலாம் அங்க இருக்கிற ட்ரெஸ்ஸிங் ஸ்டைல்ல அந்த பர்டிகுலர் மென் போயிட்டு வருவாங்க அடாப்ட் பண்ணிப்பாங்க பட் மோஸ்ட்லி இந்த உமன் ஸ்டூடெண்ட் ஸ்டேட் பிகைண்ட் ஸோ தென் நோ தி ஐடியா ஆஃப் தி உமன் ட்ரெஸ்ஸஸ் ஓவர் தட் அண்ட் இன் அடிஷன் டு தட் பகாரின்றதே வந்து ஒரு கில்லிங் ஏரியா பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் தட் கிளைமேட்டிக் கன்சிடரேஷனால சில ட்ரெஸ்ஸஸ் அந்த எஃபெக்ட் இருக்கும் அந்த ஃபீல்ட்ல இருக்கும் Okay, there will be somewhat thicker garments instead of the transparent shallow garments of the Tamari. Okay? Fine. The typical Pagari compositions consist of several figures skillfully grouped in a single canvas. And each figure portrayed in distinctive form one another in terms of clothing, hairstyle and even pigmentation. Which may be blue, white, pink or grey. So, in this case, you can see mostly predominant colors. You can see red and yellow. Now, it is the color of cooler uh, climate. blue white pink or gray <coughs> paintings are different from the other types of indian folk paintings because they use shading extensively this gives them a sense of depth which most other folk paintings lack influence of local folk art so okay so if you look closely you can find that <coughs> the sky alla parunga how beautifully the sky is being portrayed how uh, the nature of the sky is somewhat clearly made depicted in the on the swirling winds in the mountain areas because of that uh, climatic conditions adala evlo alaga depict panikiranga paru and the blue sky dark blue skies outer uh, colors ellame vand romba cool colors are it is somewhat or or rainy tone irukku paru the colors la can you see guys okay so mari cool mountainous element irukku paru okay so these are other pictures even here you can see how how darkishly the color being portrayed everything around So, Lord Krishna's legend was a very popular subject for Pagari painters. Episodes and scenes from Lord Krishna's life were illustrated against the beautiful backgrounds of Pagari background. So, as I said, as I said earlier, Pagari background was Marmi Tiri Pi Lord Krishna. So, what most Rajput kings mostly depicted the Lord Krishna's life. Besides themes from texts like Ramayana, Mahabharata, Bhagavata Purana, Krishna Lila, Gita Govindam, Sursaga, Rasika Piriya, Bihari Satsai and some very interesting paintings of Devi were also done, which is Lord Parvati. Nayaka Nayaki, hero heroines themes, portray, uh, portraits, hunting scenes, festivals at the Soli, love stories namely uh, Madhu, Malti and Nalada Mahinti were also frequently illustrated. So, sub-schools. So, we have already said that Basavali is going to be a great place. So, we have already said that Basavali is going to be a great place. Basavali is going to be a great place. Basavali is going to be a great place. So that uh, map shows where Basoli is actually. It is in the very much portals of the Jammu and Kashmir state. And there are dark marks in the middle of that. Okay. So mostly you can ask, "Is there an emperor or a king? Is there a ruler or a king? It's called kingdom. And lot of these small kingdoms were, you know, spread all over the Himalayan foothills. Because one reason is that the uh, Mughal emperor made them subjugated them. That's it. Paramount power was not only Mughal that time. They let these rulers rule them. Rule that that place itself because of the geography, it was easy for them to just subjugate and ask them to rule over there. That added because of that, lots of smaller uh, kingdoms will be present all over this area. <laughs> Basavali is in Kathu district of the state of Jammu Kashmir. Basavali school is the earliest center of painting among the Pagari. The first miniature was executed in 1694 AD by Devadasa under the patronage of Raja Kripal Pal. in the form of rasa manjari illustrations given giving rise to the school from here many such paintings of pagari evolved into much prolific kangra school by the mid 18th century so 7694 lendu 100 years le it evolved to a vast different style itself okay so features of basavali vigorous and bold lines are used strong and contrasting colors are used with monochrome background monochrome means single color background mostly it is in blue or dark gray colors the lines and colors making these intense paintings but still the overall composition of paintings is simple and unique faces oval shaped with receding forehead as like a typical feature of miniature paintings large expressive eyes like lotus petals tamara idargal mari tamara idargal not roja petals so avlo perusa eyes varadirukanga more than the proportionate size of face <laughs> landscape is stylized and trees are often depicted in circular forms trees and faces depictions are little heavier with natural textures maybe due to mughal influence okay sky is depicted narrow or small strip last areas la area la horizon mattum da sky padukiran and the paintings have a red border a very interesting feature in this painting is the use of beetle wings for showing diamonds in ornaments so beetle wings na kuti kuti poochirukinga 
அந்த பூச்சி எல்லாம் பிடிச்சிட்டு அந்த பூச்சியோட இந்த பட்டியல் அந்த ஈசலும் சொல்லுங்க அந்த பூச்சியை பிடிச்ச அந்த ட்ரக்கை எடுத்து அதை பெயிண்டிங் மேலே ஒட்டு வச்சுருவாங்க ஸோ இது பாக்குறதுக்கு அந்த பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் தட் அந்த கிளிட்டர் இட் அப்பியர்ஸ் ஆஸ் லைக் டைமண்ட் ஜுவல்லரி சாரி யூஸ் ஸோ திஸ் ஒன் யூனிக் ஐடியா வேற எந்த பெயிண்டிங் எல்லாம் பஸ் வழியில் பண்ணிருப்பாங்க ஸோ கொஸ்டின் மேபி லைக் திஸ் இன் ப்ரோலம்ஸ் விச் ஆஃப் தீஸ் பெயிண்டிங்ஸ் யூஸ் இந்த பெட்டல் விங்ஸ் ஃபார் ஷோயிங் டிபிக்டிங் டைமண்ட்ஸ் இன் தி ஆர்னமெண்ட்ஸ் பஸ் ஓகே சம்டைம்ஸ் செக்ஷன் ஆஃப் ஃபிகர்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஆர்கிடெக்சர் ஆஸ் ஸ்டில் பிளேஸ் தி செப்பரேட்லி இன் டு தி ஸ்கொயர் ஃப்ரேம் Basoli spreads to various neighboring states and continent till the mid of 18th century. Popular theme in Basoli paintings, particularly during the reign of Tripal Pal, was the Rasa Manjari written by poem Barnadatta. Besides Raja Mandiri, other notable illustrations is the series of Geetha Govinda painted by artist Manuka in 1730 AD. Okay, Basoli is too. So you can see, in the sky, you can see the same thing in the same painting. It's very minute, but it is clear and elaborated. So the sky is not in the clouds, but it is very strip-like. Okay. Right? And Devi paintings, as I, as, as, like I said earlier. See? Lord Parvati's depictions have been done. Okay. So, in one frame, there is a rectangular structural frame. There is a depiction of a building. This building is a building for a room. But it is portrayed as if something is separate. Okay? So, next is Gullar's style of Pagari. Gullar is in the lower Himalayas in the state of Himachal Pradesh with then uh, capital Haripur Gullar. So you can see Gullar over here. There is a lot of Basoli in here. Second place. So Basoli is here. Basoli is here. Gullar is here. In the red area, Gullar is here. In the red area, Kampur is Gullar is Gangra style. Okay. So it is almost the confluence area. Okay. The Gullar style is the Gullar school is in fact an early Face Kangra school <coughs> and both these schools are sometimes called as, uh, referred as Gullar Kangra schools. Okay. The last phase of Basoli school was closed, closely followed by Jamuna, sorry, uh, Jammu Gra group of paintings, mainly consisting of portraits of Raja Balwan Singh of uh, Dastura by Nainishik. Nainishik worked in the both Dastura and Gullar to which he originally belonged. In the middle of 18th century, many artists trained in the Muslim style uh, sort patronage from Raja Govardhan Chand, thereby leading to the establishment of Gullar school, which itself later became the birth, birthplace of Kangra school. <laughs> this school appears to have been influenced by the naturalistic style of Mughal paintings of Mughamat Shah period. So ultimately later period, even after the Aurangasip period, even the Mughal uh, paint soon, because of the falling uh, nature of uh, Mughal, uh, Mughal emperor, they went and sought patronage from Raja Govardhan Chand. And ultimately, they were uh, employed over there. So, this led to a new addition. Basso Lillian and the painters, Ingrid and the painters, let's say, the Gullar School developed. And ultimately, they moved to Kangra, establishing the Kangra School later. <laughs> Pictures of Gullar School. Paintings are a new naturalistic style and with greater precision and delicacy in handling, creating sp uh, spiritual feeling. This depiction marks a change from the earlier Basso Lillian School art. The colors used are school, soft and cool, while Basso Lillian was bright. The lines are firm and unswerving in its flow. Female portrayed with delicacy and naturalistic, which is visible in the modeling of faces and treatment of eyes, with small and slight upturned nose, and the hair done minutely. Female portrayed here have an elegance and depiction that deserves mention. Colors of dawn and the rainbow of the player palette. Gullar paintings are notable for their experimentation with Sikh themes like the portraits of Sikh Guru um, and Sikh dignitaries. Landscapes are also commonly used as themes. <laughs> As like Rajput uh, paintings, the subject matters include Bhagavata, Gita Govind, Bhigari Satari, Balamasa and Ragamala. So what they differently did over the years, they tried to do Sikh themes, Sikh Gurus Padraga. In addition to that, landscapes, the hilly area landscape is being very much tried. So if you look at Rajasthani paintings, there are many landscape predominance. There are many variety of sceneries there because it is a hilly area. Okay, lots of sceneries are possible. That is being highly portrayed in this painting. Okay, so these are such paintings, you can have a look. So, background is also a darkish color used for Ranga, and you can have a look at this. And uh, this is one such sick portrayal. Background is a cloudy nature, has been completely portrayed here, too. Okay, right? So, next is Kangra School of Pagari paintings. So, Kangra School of Pagari. Um, Kangra is in the Lissar Himalaya in the state of Himachal Pradesh. The next stage of development in Pagari paintings happened in Kangra in the last decades of 18th century AD, evolving 
out of Guller School and this was the time when Basoli School began to fail. Kangra School soon produced such a magnitude in paintings, both in content as well as volume, that the Pahari paintings came to be known as Kangra paintings. So what happens is, Bahal, Basoli would end phase la Kangra start out and Kangra produced so much number of paintings that ultimately even just uh, by referring to uh, Kangra, people think that is Pahari paintings. <laughs> Features of Kangra paintings, Kangra evolution Gullar was can be found visible in the delicacy of drawings and quality of naturalism, face depicted in profile and woman figures with long eyes, nose and forehead in line, sharp hair is simply coated as a bunch without any refinement. So as it is once again back to the basis. Rajasthani paintings are hair every in the pleated slumber blunt up all the Kangra depicts greenery, flora is made noticeable with multiple shades of green and great attention on naturalism. The foliage depicted is vast and varied features, flowers, plants and trees, extensively extensive use of leafless trees. Okay. The Kangra artists adopted various shades of primary colors and used delicate and uh, fresher hues. For instance, they used a light pink on the upper hills to indicate distance. These employed cool and fresh colors. Kangra paintings are known for lyrical blend of form and colors. The paintings were often large and had a complex composition of many figures and elaborate landscapes. Towns and houses clusters were often depicted in the distance. So you know what they are doing is they are trying to give the depth shading kudukaranga pinkish na use they are trying to give a faded in the blue to pink abrinda or distance kudukaranga horizon the and uh, there is a lyrical blend so subtle blend of colors or or color mix padranga instead of it being simply separate they are trying to have a mixture of colors okay subject portrait the taste and traits of lifestyle of the society of that period the main theme of kangra is Shringa, Shringa, erotic sentiments. So this is one other thing which which is off the subjects. So Mughalli Pandino will the erotic sentiments on Raya. But we have tried to avoid uh, that in our subject study because there is nothing really required for it. But still this painting is mostly about that. So you have to have, just have a knowledge about it. Other things are of love scenes of Radha Krishna, Bhagavad Gita, Krishna Leela, Nayaka Nayaki, Baramasa, Narada Mahindi. This school translated poetry into paintings. Later Kangra paintings are depicted nocturnal schemes and storms and lightnings. The Kangra style continued to flourish at various places, namely Chamba, Jammu, Nurpur, Garwal, Tegri, Mankot, Mandi, Kula, Kulu, Bilsar, etc. So ultimately, Bazoli is that time, Kangra evolved. Kangra evolved, it dispersed into Chamba, Jammu, etc. etc. areas. So Kangra is the climax of that area, Pagari paintings, where which the highest level of refinement has been achieved. Okay, guys. Some of the um, Pagari painters found patronage in, in Punjab under Maharaja Ranjit Singh and Sikh nobility in the beginning of 19th century and executed portraits and other miniatures in the modern version of Kangra Sil, which continued till the 19th century model. So these are the Pagari paintings, I mean Kangra paintings. You can have a look how beautifully the overall background scene is depicted. One of the the leaf for the image is depicted. One of the leaf is beautifully depicted. In every naturalistic hotel, dark lines, broad, no, bold lines, the line put up and strong, typical of the ground. Okay, and every color has been like somewhat faded. Like, can you see over here, like, take over yellow, you should be and dark green, you should be under the mix for the uh, in the painting. Can you see, guys? Here, too, they have tried to mix the colors in your color, in your color, mix for the ground. So, you come out of the painting, you know, you know, you know, you in the dress of Brahma, there is two colors that has been mixed. Okay, this is very unique. Okay, and that is the most refinement achieved by this uh, paintings. So these are other paintings. How the colors have been mixed? You can have a look at it. You know, the colors simply be mixed for the background style. Even thunderstorms, like what I put it, Okay, guys, that is with regard to the Pagari paintings. Okay, so uh, with this the miniature paintings, like that. Almost we have done. This is some bits and pieces of miniature paintings are there that we can finish in the next class within 10 minutes. So, as the next one areas, the important areas, we will talk about folk arts and Indian philosophy. I know this class will be somewhat confusing and somewhat bored because the little variety is not different. Most of the paintings done are very similar, but still it has been classified into this many varieties. And UPSC asked the questions in that level. So we have to travel with it. As like I said, in the class may be interesting because sometimes the classes make get boring. One such thing is this class. I know that very well. But as a matter of fact, it is this area that may find a lot of question areas. You know, the confusing areas are possible. So sit through these classes. 
So ultimately, tougher areas, boring areas have been done. If you have many adjustments, you will be tough on areas. If you have many adjustments, just to 5 to 10 minutes work them pending, that will be done. Now the next class, we will go for a new fresh topic. Okay. So that fresh topic will be completely interesting because there will be more philosophies and new ideas that will be brought in. Fine. With that, we will close the class for today. Have a look at the previous topics. So it's a mural miniature. It's almost done. Mural is completely done. Miniature is 95% done. So have a look at the earlier classes and complete this topic as it is. So as to say once again, if you have any doubts, put it in the comments. And uh, when you study, have a look at pictures. Fine. With that, we'll close the class for today. Thank you, guys.